Hi, my name is Nicole Young, and I'm here to help you learn more about photography and post-processing. In this tutorial, I'd like to show you how you can add a signature watermark in On One Photo Raw. On One Photo has the ability to add text, so you can fairly easily add a text watermark. I'll do that real quickly to show you how that works. Make sure that you have that text tool active on the left, then click on the Add button at the top. This creates a text box, and you can kind of see it. It's a fairly light gray transparent box with a small dotted border around it. None of that is visible after your text is completed, by the way. So here I'll go ahead and add copyright Nicole S. Young. If I wanted to edit this text and the way it looked, I would just select that text and you can change the font. You can increase the size. You can also change the color if you like. I'll just switch it to white real quickly here. And you can also change some of the other characteristics as well as the alignment. And if you wanted to reduce the opacity, that's what this little box does here. You can also resize the text box to fit your actual text a little bit better, and then relocate it just by clicking and dragging. So the text tool will work if you want to add simple text and you don't need anything with uh, any more style to it. However, if you do want to add a signature, I'm gonna show you how to do that. What you'll want to do is take a piece of paper and draw your name on it, and that's what I did here. I just took a simple white piece of paper I signed my name on it with a Sharpie pen, then I photographed it with my iPhone and saved it on my computer, and then I added some contrast and brightness to it to make the photo pure black and pure white, and of course the black area is going to be my signature. So inside of On One, I'd like to add this as a layer to my document. So I'm going to go up to Layer, Add Layer from File. You may need to click the Browse button to actually navigate to that specific folder, and then once you find it, just click open, then click on the file you'd like to add, and then in the bottom right of this pop-up window, click add as layer. If you look over in the layers panel, you can see that I have a brand new layer and that's my signature layer. My signature file was not a transparent file though. And of course that's a problem here because I don't wanna see that white background. But the good news is you can easily change that using blending modes. And just as a quick note, this is one reason it's important to make sure that when you are editing that signature file to prepare it for this, that you make it pure black and pure white. So I have that signature file active. I'm gonna click on this gear dropdown, which opens up my blending options. Then I'm going to change the blending mode down to multiply. And immediately you can see that now it just removed all of that white and the only thing that's showing through is the black. Then I'll select that move tool in the top left and I'm going to reposition that signature file. I'm also going to resize it by holding that shift key and then clicking and dragging from one of the corners. And holding that shift key just helps keep it proportional so it doesn't get strangely warped. Once you have it moved into position, just go ahead and click apply at the top. I'm gonna go ahead and activate that text tool. I'm gonna to select my original text layer and delete that so we no longer see it. And then I'm just going to quickly move that signature down to the bottom right. Now let's say I prefer to have this as a white signature instead of a black signature. Well, instead of having to use a completely different file, you can actually create that effect with this layer. There are only a few steps that you need to do to make this happen. First, with that signature layer active, I'm gonna click Add Filter. Then I'm gonna select the Curves Filter. I'm gonna click and drag the bottom left point and move it all the way up to the top. Then I'm going to do the exact same but opposite with that top right point. I'm gonna click on that point and drag it all the way down to the bottom. And what that did is it inverted the layer. Now I'm gonna go back to the blending options for that layer and instead of using multiply, I'm gonna select screen. And screen does just the opposite. It makes it so you can see the white parts of the layer and it hides the pure blacks. And that's how you can kind of personalize your images with a signature 
instead of using a simple text watermark. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if so, please be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos like it down the road.